Well, that's a interesting cover. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my media channel. Now, a few days ago, I had talked about how the Criterion Collection was finally going to be releasing some 4K discs. Yes, they were getting into the 4K content game in a very big way. They announced six new titles, some of which were excellent, like the Piano, Menace to Society, Mulholland Drive. Actually, they were all pretty excellent when you get down to it. But the one that stood out was Citizen Kane, and it stood out for a couple of reasons. One, this was going to be their first 4K release. Second, uh, Citizen Kane was the original Criterion Collection when they were doing Laserdisc. That was their first title, and it has come home, and Warner Brothers seemed to be okay with letting them do that, which was kind of interesting when you get down to it. But there was another question going on. What would the cover art look like? And we now know what the cover art looks like, and it's definitely something I wasn't expecting. But before we actually look at it, hey, do me a favor. If you like these conversations, if you like spending time with me, do a favor, hit that subscribe button, and smash that like button. So anyway, uh, so what did you think that Citizen Kane was going to look like? You know, before we actually get into what it looks like, I kind of forgot to bring it up but we will kind of bring up old images of what Citizen Kane looked like back in the day. Uh, this is how it looked when it was on DVD. You know, very nice cover, and then they brought it to a two-disc special edition. No, not bad. Well, let's look at the Blu-ray. And the Blu-ray, well, as you can see, looked uh, pretty, pretty normal pretty nor normal, if you will, and there was an Ultimate Edition, like, yeah, here's the UK edition. I actually have this, I don't know if I'll have it for much longer. As you can see, 75th anniversary, very understated, but missing the Panaz. Well, Criterion Collection decided this is what their cover is going to be. Not going to lie. Pretty underwhelming. I don't know what they were thinking when they did this. Just K. I mean, if they were to put Kane on there, maybe that would be one thing. But just K. And it's not even like it's styled after the movie logo or anything. It's just a random K. I don't know. One of the greatest films of all time. Number one on the AFI list, like for over 30 years or something like that. Um, first original like actually let's uh, let's kind of take a look like what did the laser disc of this look like just a reminder remi for people so this is what they uh what the criterion collection looked like when it was on laser disc hey yeah i could live with that why aren't they doing that image nope just a k just a k I don't know. Well, anyway, we also know some of the special features. Um, they have the uh, one Ultra HD disc of the film presented in Dolby Vision HDR and three Blu-rays with the film and special features. So this strongly suggests that all the special features from the Ultimate Edition will be there, or at least the vast majority of them. They have the complete Citizen Kane, the rarely seen feature-length documentary. We have multiple audio commentaries, um, including my favorite one from Roger Ebert. Uh, we have a new program on the film special effects, a video SI by Orson Welles. So many nice special features and covers. This is wonderful. But, you know, considering, like, look at some even some of these other pictures, like Mr. Arkandine and Ra Rashomon and the Magnificent Ambersons. Like, these are really good covers. And then they decided that for his magnum opus, for the first 4K release, for the movie that got Criterion in this business, just a giant K. Okay, look, you know, at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm going to buy it anyway. It's not like I'm not going to get that. I, I'm not even saying that even pr dissuades me from getting it. I I don't think the average person is going to be attracted to it, but then the average person isn't buying a lot of discs anyway. They're streaming their stuff, and the hardcore collectors are going to buy it regardless what the cover was. It's just kind of weird that Criterion decided that for such a marquee title, it was su they were going to go with like, the most minimalist of minimalist designs and I don't know I I personally think it's kind of you know 
silly that that's where it got to. I forgot to turn that on silent. Sorry, folks. But anyway, that's where we're going to end this brief video. What do you think about the cover? Do you think the K is fine? Or do you wish they had done a little bit more? What would you have liked to have seen? I want to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, or subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.